Hi, this is Skippin, and as you can see right now, I'm on the Shinkansen, and I brought my iPad Mini 5. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like to draw in small spaces, if it's possible to draw in small spaces, and especially what the experience is like with this kind of minimalistic setup. So I'm going to get to drawing, and I'll be back later to talk about it. So it is pretty bumpy, especially when you're coming into a station or going around a turn or something, but it's not impossible. I'm still trying to get some stuff done, but we'll see. There's kind of only a few minutes left on this ride, then I have the remainder back when I'm going home, but we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, in the hour and a half or so that I had on this train, I was not able to finish a piece. And I don't think that on my way back, I'm gonna be able to do a full colored piece. So I'm switching over to a black and white piece. I think it'll be fine, it'll be interesting. And I guess to talk about my experiences of actually finishing a full illustration on a train. Whenever I ride these, it's usually just uh, me sketching and messing around or continuing something I've done before. So it's really gonna be a new experience for me. And I can't wait to talk about that. So I'm back on a train heading to Tokyo and I'm going to try to finish up this illustration that I started last time. It's a really interesting experience drawing on the Shinkansen. I've never really done a full piece here while on the train, but I've done a few different sketches and stuff like that. And I think it's really what uh, you should be doing if you're on a train or some sort of plane or something where it's going to be constantly shaking, lots of stuff going on, and it's just so difficult to do a full piece in my opinion. Even though you have an iPad now, which is a great mobile drawing solution and different accessories that really aid in drawing anywhere, it's more just kind of the the small space, the headspace that you're in when you're traveling, all that could be very difficult. So it was definitely an interesting experience drawing on the Shinkansen. I did manage to finish a full black and white piece, but it's kind of hard to recommend doing like detailed, small, uh, intricate work on a train. It's always moving around and it's never gonna be that steady and you're in a small cramped space. So something like sketching is really going to be the best thing or continuing to work on a project that you had started maybe at home or somewhere else on the go and you just wanna continue to work at it, uh, do maybe some coloring line work would be difficult, but yeah, that was my experience drawing on the Shinkansen. I hope this was informative and you found it interesting, and I'll be back with some more videos very soon. So, I'm Skippin, thank you so much for watching.